Welcome to practice. I'm Casey and this is May. And today we are going to be continuing along our Enneagram journey with Enneagram type four. This is our 25 minute practice. I've been super excited for sharing this with you guys because I am an Enneagram type four. So knowing my Enneagram type has just really helped me to understand a lot more about myself, to have more self-compassion and a lot more accountability for some things that I now know are my tendencies. If you are interested in watching the 60 minute series, I have that linked in the description below. It's the same as this, just 60 minutes. So doing just this practice, you would miss out on an meditation, stress and security points, fours as children, wings, spirituality, and self-love. The passion of the type four is envy. And type fours tend to be known for having a lot of feelings, a lot of depth of feelings, the ability to sit in feelings for extended periods of time. Because of this, I have selected us to be working with the heart meridian. It is said in traditional Chinese medicine that all emotions originate from the heart. I've also selected for us to do a few back bends as more than any other posture, these release trapped emotional energy. If you would like to bring along props today, I would just suggest a block, a blanket, and a bolster. If you don't have a bolster, just a pillow. If you don't have blocks, I would just suggest a towel so that you can wrap it up and it can be kind of firm for some support. Let's go ahead and meet back in all fours and let's jump right in. Exhale, round spine up all the way back to extended child's pose. Inhale to all fours, spine sagging here, chest wide and facing forward. Exhale, spine upwards like an angry cat, then to child's pose. Inhale, come up with a downward curvature of the spine, the pit of the elbow externally rotated, shoulders back. Exhale, spine towards the sky, into child's pose. Last time, inhale up. Imagine if you had an Iron Man flashlight chest, it could light your way. I hope you smiled, it's healthy. Exhale, arched back into child's pose. Take a moment to decide what feels best in your body today. Knees together or knees wide, toes together, sitting on a towel or block. You may choose to do extended child's pose or an embryo version, letting your arms rest alongside your body. Sometimes I find extra comfort weaving my arms between my legs, allowing myself to feel the safety of my own being just for a bit. One thing to note about the Enneagram is that a person is their type always but can behave differently when in a healthy, average, or unhealthy range. A four in the average health range will take to an artistic, romantic orientation to life, desiring to create beautiful things in whatever aspect they are creators. They prolong feelings, tend to take things personally, can be moody and sensitive, 
may be unable to be spontaneous or get out of their own head. They stay withdrawn to protect their self-image and buy time to sort out feelings. An unhealthy four becomes self-inhibiting and angry at themselves, depressed and alienated. Everything is a source of torment. They can feel hopeless and become self-destructive. Fours can find their sadness beautiful and in an unhealthy state, not attempt to deal with emotions at all, much less in a constructive way. A healthy four, though, at their best, would be profoundly creative, self-aware, introspective, on the search for the self, aware of feelings and impulses, sensitive, intuitive, gentle, compassionate, and emotionally honest. They can be serious and funny, vulnerable yet emotionally strong. Everything, both sad and joyful, can be seen as beautiful. Gently bring your torso up, flip over onto your back, and lie all the way down. Bring your block or folded up towel near you. Plant your feet, bring the heels just out of reach of your fingers. On an inhale, press into the heels and lift the hips up. Slide the block under your sacrum. It can be on any height you find comfortable. Keep your neck looking towards the sky. To target the heart meridian, raise your hands up either in a cactus shape or above your head. If this feels uncomfortable though, let them rest along your sides. We are doing backbends in practice today because they are the postures that release pent up emotional energy more than any other class of posture. By opening up the front body, we can identify what is inhabiting within and begin to reclaim a safe space within ourselves. The passion or sin of the type four is envy. As with most Enneagram passions, the envy is not what you'd think. A four doesn't envy others' belongings or looks any more than any other Enneagram type. The thing they envy is other people's seemingly natural ability to be human. A four looks at other people and feels they somehow missed the memo on how to have a normal, happy life. Perhaps they were born without a key ingredient. They look around and feel different, like they don't quite belong here. They know it and feel as if everyone else knows it too. As another four, Ian Crone writes in The Road Back to You, fours feel out of true. Thus, they are on a never-ending, quite exhausting, to be honest, quest to find this missing piece. 
because of this fixation with what's missing or wrong, fours are blind to what is present in their lives, up to and including the wonderful qualities they possess. This can make a four quite disembodied from the present and reality. Lift the hips slightly and remove the block. So slowly bring the spine down to the mat. Find any movements that feel good here, bringing knees to chest or bent knee wiper motions. Make your way to your stomach. Lay your right arm out long in a half T shape. Bring your left foot behind your right knee like a kickstand. Roll your body onto your right side, moving towards stacking your shoulders. You may wish to rest your head on a blanket. In her book, The Enneagram, Helen Palmer writes that the preoccupations of the four include the sense of something missing from life, others have what I am missing, an attraction to the distant and the unavailable, idealization of the absent lover, mood, manners, luxury, and good taste as external supports to bolster self-esteem an attachment to the mood of melancholy, depth of feeling as a goal rather than mere happiness, impatience with the flatness of ordinary feelings, needing to re-intensify one's feelings through loss, heightened imagination, and dramatic acts, the search for authenticity, the feeling that the present is not real, that the real self will emerge in the future through an experience of being deeply loved, an affinity with what is real and intense in life, birth, intimacy, abandonment, death, and cataclysmic happenings, a push-pull habit of attention, Focus alternates between the negative features of what one has and the positive features of what is distant and hard to get. This attention style reinforces feelings of abandonment and loss, but also lends itself to a sensitivity to other people's emotionality and pain, an ability to support others in crisis. Thank you. 
slowly roll onto your stomach. We're going to take this on the left now, so lay your left arm out to the side. Bring your right foot behind your left knee like a kickstand. Roll your body onto your left side. Maybe you aren't a four, but you do know or love one. Understanding the Enneagram can be such a fantastic tool to showing the people around us love. A pretty big way to communicate lovingly to a four is to never invalidate their feelings. This does not mean you have to agree with them always. However, be mindful in your language when discussing a four's emotions. Know that fours are very comfortable with melancholy. I love the definition of melancholy, the gloomiest of spirits. Be present with your four in their melancholy but don't try to cover it up or cheer them up. They are probably okay there. Listen intently and reflect back what you hear. On her YouTube channel, Abby Howe shares a few ways to love a type 4. Recognize what matters to their identity and be their number one fan. Tell them you're proud of them and be specific about why, but no fours have a hard time receiving compliments, so you probably won't be met with butterflies and rainbows in response. Discuss feelings. Fours have lots of feelings, but they also want to know the feelings and inner space of those they truly love. Abby's number one suggestion is to take them to a yoga or meditation class. She says this can encourage fours to do self-work to find inner peace. I agree. Slowly roll onto your stomach. You can have hands rest along your sides or bent, and your forehead is resting on the top of the hands. Come to all fours. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Knees a bit wider than hip width distance apart. Keep your hips in line with your knees. Straighten your arms in front of you one at a time. Place your chin or forehead on the floor. Soften. If you feel a lot of pressure on your shoulders, bend the elbows, take them off the sides of your mat, and place your forehead on your hands. The other version I want to offer uses blocks and a blanket. Prop your elbows up on a block, each medium height. Rest the forehead on a blanket. This posture is called melting heart. I like to end these practices with practical tips to take off the mat to lead you towards integration. Fours. Try not to have so many conversations in your head, especially if they seem to be unhealthy. 
try to catch yourself doing this. Note that the conversation is not likely to go down the way it is in your head, and that it is more than likely a waste of your precious time. Realize that you tend to have very high expectations of the people around you. Try to have grace with them. Try to love them for who they are. Instead of fantasizing about a different life or self, reflect on how you have contributed and made choices to be in the life you are living now. Maybe this is, in fact, the life you want. Be your own best friend. Understand that wholeness comes from within and radiates out, not the other way around. Be non-judgmental, patient, soft, kind, and honest with yourself. Drag your body back and into child's pose, placing your arms along your sides for a few breaths. Bring the torso up. Flip over and come all the way lying out on the floor. Bring your feet as wide as your mat and let them splay open. Relax your arms a few inches from your body, placing them upwards. Give your chin a slight tuck to lengthen the back of your neck. Ensure your eyes are softly closed. Relax your feet. Relax your legs. Relax your belly. Your chest your arms, your shoulders, your face, your eyes, your jaw, you are relaxed. Sometimes we need a lifeline. Sometimes the lifelines are words we can whisper to ourselves. Here are a few mantras for type 4s. Write it on a mirror. Write it on a sticky note and put it around your house. Make it your lock screen on your phone. Write it on your arm. Do whatever you need to embed these words in your heart. My emotions aren't too much. I heal myself. I am present. I am not 
my feelings. I am seen and loved for the true me. Take a deep breath into your belly. Gently bring movement into your hands and feet. Roll onto your side. Remember to continually come back to yourself. It's important. I hope you feel some space opening up in your heart both muscularly and energetically. With eyes still closed, come to a comfortable seat. I hope you will continue on this yinneagram journey with me through all the types. If you aren't a four, I hope you have discovered ways to love the fours in your life. Blink open the eyes. Dear Romantics, artists, individuals, you are not ever too much. You are welcome here on this earth as exactly who you are today. Keep experiencing the depth of emotions present in your humanity. It is beautiful. The world needs you to exemplify and teach this. Bring the palms of your hands together at your forehead. Inhale, taking up all the space in your lungs. Exhale to the empty. May all beings everywhere be happy and free, and may the thoughts, words, and actions of my own life contribute in some way to that happiness and to that freedom for all. Namaste. Namaste.